In this quick video, I will show you how to install Google Tag Manager on Webflow. In the Webflow dashboard, you will need to go to the site settings. One of the places how can you reach that is hovering your mouse over the website, then clicking on these three dots and settings. You can add Google Tag Manager in the custom code section. What is important to note is that this feature is unlocked only if you have a custom domain connected to the website, which means that you will need to be on a paid plan of Webflow. If your website domain looks something like this, where you have you know, something, then webflow.io, Google Tag Manager will not work on such website. You must have connected your own custom domain, for example, like I did right here. So if you haven't yet connected the custom domain, then you should go to publishing and click add custom domain and then complete all the steps that you are asked to do. Once you do that, and once your website starts to work, which means that you can access it with the custom domain, then you can install Google Tag Manager. So let's go back to the custom code. And here we have to paste the Google Tag Manager container code. Here I am in GTM and to get the code, you can find it in several places. For example, you can click on this container ID and it will give you the code, or you can go to admin and then click install Google Tag Manager. You will get the same codes right here. And Google Tag Manager asks you to install two codes, one in the head and one immediately after the opening body tag. In Webflow, you can add one code in the head and then one before the closing body tag. So technically, even though you can add the second Google Tag Manager code, some of the benefits of the second code will not work. For example, if you want to verify your Google Search Console property with Google Tag Manager, then adding the second code right here will not help. But if you ask me, I say that the second code is not needed in 99% of situations. So technically, you can just copy the first code, then go to the Webflow interface and paste it right here. There are very few benefits of using the second code and it will not have any impact on the general usage of Google Tag Manager. So technically you can just skip that second code. Once you add the code, then click save and then you can also publish to the website. Once this is done, then you can check if Google Tag Manager is working. Even though Google Tag Manager has this test your website feature, Personally, I use another way, which is just to enable the preview mode of Google Tag Manager. So go to Google Tag Manager, then click preview. And in this window, enter the URL of your website. Just make sure that you're entering the URL with your custom domain, not with this kind of domain. So I will copy this, go here and click connect. Then in a new tab or a new window, your website will be opened and it will say that Tag Assistant is connected and you can also see some things right here like consent initialization, container loaded and so on. So if you see this, then it means that your installation is done correctly. And that's how you can install Google Tag Manager on Webflow. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.